secret. How does the daughter of John Paul DeGioia become a drag racer? <laughs> um, well, it's, I, it's actually uh, due to his love for fast cars. Um, he raced in uh, cannonball-style races, you know, just fun things in Europe and, and the United States, and he had such great stories. He did really, really well. But he's always had fast cars growing up, and that was something that I was drawn to naturally. And, and, um, and yeah, so I'm the, definitely the thrill seeker in the family. Um, but uh, he's very supportive. I mean, he, he loves drag racing. It, it took you a while to get to this point. Um, so can you kind of take me through your career and how did you get from, you know, being the daughter of a dad who likes fast cars to a drag a professional drag racer? Um, well, the first time I saw drag racing was at the Winter Nationals in Pomona uh, when I was about 17 years old. I went with a friend of mine that had, you know, we had hot rods and, and they built them and we raced them and, you know, had so much fun. But um, that was my first experience at drag racing. Um, I Obviously, my family has no history of, you know, racing professionally. So it was something that, um, you know, I guess was just instilled in me and I kind of made a left turn out of the family business and said, hey guys, you know what, this is my real passion and I'm going to go for it. And um, I, I've been, have been working my way up um, from, you know, from slower cars to faster cars um, just to get a feeling for it because I had no history and I felt like that was the best way to, to basically, you know, um, get my bearings and learn about the sport and, um, and earn my earn my right to be in that seat. <laughs> Okay. Well, show me some of your tattoos here. Um, you got the okay. new one here, right? This is the newest one. This is kind of an ode to, ode to racing. Uh, rods and pistons, a checker flags. Um, I wanted to be a fighter pilot when I was a kid. And I'm actually going to be taking a ride in an F-15 strike eagle just like this <laughs> sometime this season. Um, I Sacred Heart, my daughter's name. I have six heart and my tattoo daughter's name is Isabella. I have 16 tattoos total. Okay. Wait, let me see your daughters again. <laughs> okay, and so what, what's her name? Isabella. Isabella, how old is she? She's nine. Nine. Okay, when did you get that one? Um, gosh, I think when she was about a year old. Okay, and then I wanted to find out, what was the first tattoo you got? What, what is it? The first tattoo I ever got, I was 16 years old, and okay. I had got a crescent moon right below my neck. Okay, can you show it to me? Um, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Right. Why'd you get a crescent moon? What was that about? Um, I don't know. It just it was just kind of a, a cool thing that I saw. One of my friends had, was an artist, and she drew it up, and I you know, started all this.